Hey guys, welcome to another news. David Adodo has cautioned the federal government. Come with me as I give you the news in full details. The news in details. Owing to reports, the leadership of the Progressive Congress (APC) may not likely zone senior leadership to the Southeast region. United States-based Nigerian-American businessman David Adodo cautioned against bypass. According to him, marginalizing the Southeast in the zoning of offices could affect some of the some of the gain recorded in the democratic process. The entrepreneur, however, called out the stakeholders, including the president-elect Ashwajibola Metunubu, to not make the mistake of further marginalizing the Igbos, saying Nigerians stand on a tripod. David Adudu maintained that the present political situation in the country requires great caution in the choice of the next Senate president. While speaking from his Baltimore base, he said, the tripod of the nation rested on the three major political zones of the country and should, shouldn't be destroyed now to avoid undue further marginalization of the Igbos who are already agitating for a nation of their own from Nigeria. In the interest of unity and for purpose of coercion and to assuage agitation, the Igbos deserve to allowed to produce the next to be allowed to produce the next Senate president. Senator Ojewuz Okalu, a former governor of Abia State and current chief whip of the Senate, is the best man for the job because of his antecedents and experience he had. It. The quest for the seat of the Senate president is generating heat on the national polity. Mr. David Adodo, a Nigerian American businessman, has called on all stakeholders to be careful of their choices as any mistake can affect gains recorded so far on our growing democracy. He noted that the present political polit situation in the country requires great caution in the choices of the next Senate president. According to Mr. Adodo, who spoke from his Baltimore base in the United States of America, USA, the tripod of the nation rested on the three major political zones of the country and shouldn't be bended now to avoid undue further marginalization of the Igbos who are already agitating for a nation of their own from Nigeria. In the interest of the unity and for purpose of coercion and to as you age agitation, the Igbo deserve to be allowed to produce the next Senate president. Mr. Adudo even narrowed down his call to Senator Oji Uzokalu, whom he claimed is the most suitable among the contenders from the Southeast. According to the United States of America based businessman and politician, Senator Oji Uzokalu, a former governor of Abia State and current chief whip of the Ninth Senate, is the best man for the job because of antecedents and experience. In all, Mr. Adudo called on Ashiwa Jubola Metsunumbu, the man he campaigned for and supported with his resources to ensure that the All Progressive Congress do not make a mistake of ignoring the Igbos in his national political calculations and permutation. A Nigerian Edo statesman, Mr. David Adudo, who is US based, who recently stated that the victory of Ashiwa Jubola Metsunumbu's victory gives him fulfillment. David Adudo, who recently said it because he never once doubted the ability and capability of the man to give Nigeria a deserving leadership and good governance. Mr. Adudo references to sterling performance of Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu as governor of Lagos, of Lagos State. He said that that period was un used to lay solid foundation that Lagos had witnessed since 1999. He particularly spoke about the several institutions created by Ashwajubala Ahmed Tunubu's government as standard regulatory bodies that enhance good governance. He equally spoke about the president-elect as a man who has the ability to detect and promote talent. He said Tunubu has made a lot of men who are equally good contributors to democratic values. He also promised to be in Nigeria to take part in the inauguration exercise. Mr. David Adodo has also come out to tell Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu that the Senate president 
must go to the southeast. He said marginalizing the southeast in the zoning of office could affect the gains recorded in the democratic process. He called on stakeholders, including President elect Ashwajibola Ahmed Tunubu, not to make any mistake or further marginalizing the Igbos. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe and like button and also let us know your opinions via the comment section below. Before we go, let's take Nigerians' opinion. Abundant Gray said, Let the North and South West have it all. They have always shared public assets among themselves, yet the Igbos keep surviving through their entrepreneurship. The time for the Igbos to laugh is near. Mark said, It is not necessary the Igbos are okay. They work for marginalization, so not giving them anything is very fair and just. Genesis said, Whether they give them or not, without the Igbos, Nigeria will never be completed, provided we still live together as a country. Ashugua said, What do you mean by Igbos deserve senior president? You fool, you fool yourself, Igbos are the next Nigerian president, or we leave Nigeria for you people. Stop being foolish. Guest said, Igbos, Senate President Peter Obi, Indigenous people of Biafra, why all this disturbance? Give that to the North to see if they can move from educational disadvantage to advantage, from kidnapping to entrepreneurship, from alimentary to decent houses, even if you give Senate President OUK, who cannot win election on his own poll unit apart from the APC style. You have nothing doing. In fact, it is time. We stop people like them from coming home because they are not representing Igbo's interests but their immediate family. Shaolin said, Good renounce. Now I understand the full of the full meaning of go to court, go to court. Rodney Joshua said, Who told you that the Igbos need your Senate presidency or speaker of House of Rep? We don't need them. Keep it to yourself. No true Igbo man would request, request any position under Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu's government. Idris Usman said, Igbos lack li liberalism in their conduct. You cannot reap where you did not sow. That is the principle of democracy. Please, let the Igbos learn the hard way so that they don't repeatedly behave arrogantly. Stainless Ogudu said, Igbos are Republicans in nature. They believe in their individuals, natural endowment strength. If you think you can dangle Senate presidency before them to make them vote for your, to your wishes, conduct another election, they will repeat the same thing. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button, and I will see you on the next news.